Hello friends! Welcome to today's Story Traveling with Miss Gale. Today I have a story from Germany about four friends. Are you ready? Let's begin. Once upon a time there was a donkey. That donkey for years and years had carried heavy loads of grain and seed for his master, the farmer. But as the years went on, it became harder and harder for that donkey to carry that load. One evening, the donkey overheard his master, the farmer, talk to his master's wife. for I have a lovely voice. Eehaw! Eehaw! And so, the first thing that next morning, the donkey sat out before the farmer was even awake. As the donkey went down the road, he met a dog laying beside the road. That dog had his tongue out. <laughs> he was breathing very heavy. And the donkey said, dog, what is the matter? And the dog said, I, I am just getting too old. I cannot keep up with the other dogs on the hunts. And, and I'm just not as fast. And I am afraid that my master is going to get rid of me. Oh, that's terrible, dog. Well, you should join me. I am going to Bremen to join the orchestra and become a musician. And you have a fine voice, if I remember right. And the dog sat up and he said, Oh, yes, I do. I like that idea. And so the donkey and the dog continued down the road till they came to a house where outside the house they saw a cat sitting with a very sad face. Cat, what is the matter? asked the two friends. And the cat said, oh, meow, all I want to do is lay beside the fire. But my mistress, she thinks I'm too old. She thinks I'm too old to catch the mice. And truth is, I, I really can't catch them anymore. They're just so much faster than me. Then you should join us, for who knows night music better than a cat? Come and join us. We are going to join the orchestra in Bremen and become fine singers. And the cat said, Oh, meow. Yes, that sounds lovely. And so now the three friends went down the road until they came to a farm. There at that farm, in the middle of the day, was a rooster. He was crowing. Cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. like this in the middle of the day, said the donkey. Oh, said the rooster, tomorrow is Sunday, and I overheard, I overheard the farmer's wife said they're having visitors, and I get to be the chicken soup. Oh, ho, ho. so I'm going to crow while I can. Cock a doo doo doo. Oh, but with such a fine voice as that, said the donkey, you should join us. We're going to Bremen to join the orchestra and be musicians, be fine singers. And the rooster liked that idea. And so the four friends continued down the road. But Bremen is a long way away, and the four friends could not get there in one day. As the sun began to go down, the animals entered a forest forest got darker and darker and the animals thought we need to stop and rest for the night for we have been traveling a long way and we are tired and the dog said 
And I am hungry too. So they found a big tree. The donkey lay down on the ground along with the dog. The cat jumped up on a branch and the rooster flew to the very top of the tree just to take a look around. When all of a sudden the rooster said, Oh, friends, friends, I see a light in the distance in the woods. I think it's a house. Oh, said the donkey, maybe it's someone who will let us sleep in their barn for the night. Yes, said the dog, and maybe they have a bone or two that we can chew on. And so the four friends went together deeper into the woods. There was a light. There was a small house. They came up very quietly, and the donkey looked in the window because he was the tallest. What do you see? What do you see? said his friends. I see a table and there are all kinds of good food on that table. Oh, oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, meow! Cock-a-doodle-doo, yes! Oh, but I, I also see lots of money on the table. Oh, money? Money? Yes, said the donkey, because sitting around that table are four men. Those men have guns. They must be robbers. Oh, said the animals. Oh, this is terrible. What are we going to do? And the rooster said, I've got an idea. And they whispered together. It sounded like a great plan. Oh, yes, we can do that, they said. And this is what they did. The donkey stood still on his four feet. The dog jumped up on the donkey's back. The cat jumped up on the dog's back and the rooster flew way up and sat on the cat's back. Then on the count of three, they began to sing. And they broke through that window and all of that noise, those four men jumped up they thought, it's a ghost. There's a ghost after us. Let's get out of here. And boom, they ran out the door before they knew what was happening. Oh, the four friends, they laughed. And then they jumped up and around the table and they began to eat. They ate and they ate and they ate. <sighs> and then they realized just how tired they were. Let's go to sleep. But, well, those robbers may come back and check out what that noise was. We better be ready, said the animals. The donkey went out and he laid down on the porch in the shadows. The dog curled up behind the door. The cat lay close to the fire. And as the fire died down, the room got very dark. The rooster flew up onto the back of a chair. And there the four friends fell asleep. Sure enough, in the woods not far from the house, the four robbers stopped and they said, what, what, what was that? That was, that was our house. Well, was it a ghost? Maybe. And the ringleader sent one of the robbers back just to check it out. He was a little bit afraid, but he did what he was asked. When he got close to the house, he saw all the lights were out. He tiptoed in, very quietly opened the door, picked up a candle from the table and started over toward the fire where he was gonna light the candle in the dying embers of the fire. But what he actually was seeing was not the fire, but the eyes of the cat glowing in the dark. He stuck that candle right down in that cat's face and that cat did not like it at all. She jumped up and she scratched the robber in the face. Oh, oh, oh. He stumbled backwards and stepped on the dog's tail and the dog jumped up and arr, bit him in the foot. Oh, oh, oh. 
And then he stumbled out the door, and there the donkey was waiting, and boom, kicked him with one of his hind feet. Oh, and in the distance, inside the house, he could hear, cook him in a stew, cook him in a stew. That was the rooster saying cock-a-doodle-doo. Well, that robber, he ran all the way back to his friends. He goes, oh, oh my goodness, it's worse than a ghost. There's a witch there now. I, I went to light the candle and she jumped up and she scratched my face. And then there was a man hiding behind the door and he stabbed me in the foot. Oh, oh, and, and when, I, when I went out on the porch, they have a monster out there who hit me with a club. And someone inside, they were saying, cook me in a stew. Oh, we can't go back there. And the leader of the robbers said, you're right, they can have the house. We can get more money and another house somewhere else. And those robbers left the area and were never seen again. And the four friends, well, ah, they liked the house. They decided this is where they would live the rest of their lives. They, anytime they needed some more food they took one of those gold coins and they bought it and every night they had a concert just them together the donkey the dog the cat and the rooster and those four friends lived can you say it with me happily ever after the end Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. Check with us next time. Come back for another story traveling with Miss Gale. Bye.